Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new GAN 356X. So, let's get into it. All right, so here is the puzzle itself, along with a extra bottle of Martian, of Martian lube, because they said they would include um, one as a promo thing with the 356X pre-order, as well as a candy cane. So when I saw this, I actually thought there was going to be some candy cane lube or something that got me excited, but there's not any yet. Hopefully there will be soon, and as well as their new Christmas business card, which I have to say, I actually really like this. It's super nice. It's very festive. And I like the overall design, so it looks really great. But uh, let's get all this out of the way and let it, let's get into the actual puzzle itself. All right, so it comes in Gan's normal uh, black box with the white sleeve, and so we're just going to push the sleeve off. It has S here, which I assume is for stickerless because that is what I got it in. So we'll open it up, and yeah, it's in stickerless. So let's put this aside. All right, so we have a pamphlet here, which um, talks about the GES V3. So that's good. Cool. It talks about the GES V3. That was one of the complaints I had with the 354M was that it talked about the GES V2, which was obviously part of the SM and things like that. And this was, um, it, w it didn't apply to that. All right. So quick disclaimer here. I didn't actually realize that the GES uh, V3 in this cube is different than the GES V3 in the 354M. This has the GES Plus, I guess is what it's called with the numerical IPG Plus, which basically is their tool free tuning with unprecedented precision, as they say in the pamphlet. And basically, it looks like it's some kind of like spring tensioning type thing. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it is, but what I will um, do is I will test this later and in my full review, I'll talk about it. But um, since I didn't really realize in the unboxing video, I just glazed over it because I didn't realize they were actually different. I only realized they were different because of Cube Solve Hero's video. So thumbs up if you watch Cube Solve Hero. He makes awesome stuff. But anyway, though, so I just want to tell you guys that I'm not covering that so you guys know. So sorry about that. But thanks, guys. So it has the GES V3, it looks like, as well as the, uh, the GAN magnetic stuff. So that's really good. Also has a nice little card here. So uh, if you want something, I don't know if you would want this or not, but it has this here as well. And also has the GES V3 nuts, and of course the uh, GES uh, magnets, which I'm super excited about because that's what is one of the big defining features of this cube. So we will look at these later. It also has Gans uh, pamphlet, which I don't even open up. Pulling the cube out of the clamshell box here, you know, it comes in Gans normal box, which I think is nice. I do like the box. I don't really use them very much, so I don't feel like that they're that um, uh, that special, but. Uh, that's still nice to have it. So here's the cube. So it is 56 millimeters as uh, every other GAN cube. So we compare it to the SM. It is the same size. So that is a definitely a good thing. And compared to the 354, um, it is bigger, which that was one of the things about the 354 that I wasn't a huge fan of was that it was a tiny bit small for me. I mean, I still like the cube, but I'm excited to see how well this works here. So let's give it some first turns. All right, so right off the bat, this cube definitely does remind me a lot of the 354, and I think it is a largely a very similar cube, except this one is smaller. And actually, it definitely feels nice. The magnets are definitely present. It very, has definitely a stronger magnetic feel like the SM, which I do like. I more like stronger magnets and like the GTS-3, whereas like the 354M definitely has weaker magnets. You can still feel the click, but these definitely are a little more present, which I am you know kind of a fan of, but definitely feels nice. Um, shades, I think, are the same as 354M. Uh, look here. Yep, that's all the same. Yep, yep, they're all the same. So definitely, um, good. I do like the shades a lot on the 354M. That was one of the things about the 356R that I wasn't super impressed with was the shades. They felt a little dismal to me, which um, I'm glad they fixed this with the 356X. Uh, definitely not too bad though. The springs, uh, springs, uh, corner cutting is uh, definitely past 45. You know as good as you expect it to be for GAN cubes and normal cubes in general. Reverse cutting is actually a little bit past line to line, line it looks like. And maybe about, about line to line, somewhere in there. Turning seems to be pretty fluid. Oh, 
Oh, darn it. Screw that up. See how I am? Overall, definitely not too bad. So I assume in here we have the... Oh, we have clear nuts or green? Oh, green nuts. We have green nuts in here. So we have the green. I know a lot of people like the yellow nuts, so I will we'll probably end up switching to those. But before we talk about the nuts, and I'm, I'm not going to change them in this video, we're going to talk about the new magnet stuff. So let's get into that. All right, so the GES uh, magnetic system, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm just going to the GES magnets. And so basically, um, they have the three different, uh, well, they have the ones in here, which I think are, are clear Um there's clear magnets, I guess. We have the green ones, which um, I believe are stronger. And then we have the yellow ones, which are weaker. And the the ones in here are definitely in the middle. And then in right here, we have these are clear ones, which are uh, basically no magnets. So I'm not sure why you would do that, but that is the case. So let's open these up here. We're going to try the green ones. So you see they are double stacked. You can see right here, double stack. We'll try the green ones here. It's what, how this works that you just put, you take this off of here like this, little magnet caps like this, and then we'll slide this off right here, oops, and you just push it like this, I believe. Oops, not like that. You push it like this. And obviously not trying to let your magnet uh, fly away. But yeah, it's pretty easy like that. It's actually super simple. Obviously, once you get the hang of it, and it might be a little more awkward to step behind the camera if I was normally cubing, it might be a lot easier. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a few little tests here with the um, green ones and the yellow ones and the clear ones, and we'll just see which ones I like better. So uh, let's get into that. Alright everybody, so I've put both the other sets of actual magnets in there with the yellows and the green ones and I have to say I actually like the clear ones better. Those ones feel the strongest out of these ones and I actually was wrong in saying that the green ones would be stronger. Those felt weaker and the yellow ones felt actually a little stronger than the green ones. Okay, so I just checked the pamphlet and it says that the ones installed are the strongest and the yellow ones are the next strongest and then the green ones and then the... Um, uh, other clear ones, clear ones with no magnets at all. So definitely I like those stock ones best. I will probably mess with each of them a little more in detail and practice changing them because I do think that it is kind of cool that you can change them. However, I'm not sure most people will do that. Once they kind of have their set thing, they won't change it. I mean, like the GES system, once you have the nuts you like, you're not going to change it. But overall, I do think the cube is nice. It definitely is speeding up a lot like the 354, um, which isn't uh, bad by any means, but this will need to be slowed down. I'll probably use some like Nebula or, um, so, or some other cosmic glue like that. Probably, probably not Martian. Martian's too fast for this cube, but definitely um, feels nice. Has a nice feeling. If we compare it to the SM, I definitely like how this feels better. This feels more smooth, more uh, controllable, and overall just has a nicer uh, feel. Corner cutting is good, as I said earlier, as well as um, uh, stability. It is actually a little bit unstable now since I do have a little bit weaker magnets that might be a little different. But nonetheless, this is less stable, I feel like, than the original SM. But um, yeah, I do think this overall is a good cube, and it definitely um, could be my main. I'm not sure. I'll have to obviously do more solves and stuff, but definitely not a bad cube. So definitely good job, Gan, so far. Um, this cube right now, I believe, is $62, $61 or $62 on speedcubeshop.com. So definitely isn't cheap, and the SM is 50 so this is a little bit more money. So definitely not the cheapest cube around now. However, though, if it is worth paying that much money for you, um, this, if it's worth that paying that much money to get this cube, then absolutely go for it. But I probably wouldn't recommend this cube simply for at the price. I think it is good. And like I said, I'll have to do more averages and things like that, but definitely, um, not a bad cube for sure. Um, look out for my review, which hopefully should come in the next few weeks or months. Who knows? It just depends. I've been, I've been really busy lately, so we'll see, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in purchasing this cube, that will be in the description below, um, the link for Speedcube Shop, and I would really appreciate you guys using my affiliate link, which earns me commission at Speedcube Shop, which supports both them and me. And also consider subscribing to this channel. Let's gain uh, more subscribers. I have 14, over 1,400 now, and this is, it's going bigger, and I would love to get over 2,000 by the end of the year. That'd be awesome. So if you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button, and be sure to be liking, watching, and commenting on all my videos. So I do appreciate it very much, guys. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.